back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I cover all things healthy living, grocery hauls, and mom life and more. And if you're new, welcome. I've got Kingsley with me, my nine month old. She's gonna be joining us today. And we're gonna throw this really quick crock pot recipe in before we have to go pick up Layla from school. And today we are making, I got this off of Pinterest and I love making curry. Usually I make it on the stove, but I wanna throw everything in so it's just easy, dump and, dump and go. And that way it's ready for dinner time. And this is a Thai chicken curry recipe that y'all are gonna be making with me today. And I'm so excited. I love, love, love curry and everything in this recipe looks amazing. It's also naturally grain-free, paleo. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet girl. Uh, let's get a knife. Knife, knife, knife. Alrighty, so first, and I'm gonna uh, adjust it a little bit, add a couple more things to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, turn my crock back on. We are going on high for four hours. And I'm going to put the chicken in to get that started. I just got this organic, chick these organic chicken thighs from Whole Foods. And I'm going to add one cup of the Kettle and Fire. This is my favorite brand of chicken broth. There's no um, edit, added natural flavors or weird ingredients in it. And uh, Thrive Market just had a great sale on these. So I picked up a few. Adding one cup. Nice sweet girl. I'm gonna chop these up and add them in towards the end so they're not super soggy because bell peppers cook up really fast. I'm just gonna chop up the garlic and ginger. I'm just gonna mince these up real quick. Ginger and garlic smell so good together and are so healing. They have so many um, anti-fungal and antibacterial properties to them. Perfect, that's the consistency you want, nice and minced. Now, this is an acorn squash, because it looks like an acorn. And that's what we're gonna be using today for our, you can also use sweet potato or any other kind of squash, but I had this on hand and this is what we're gonna use. It's gonna be hard to cut. This might be too hard for me to cut with this knife. I know a lot of times people put it in the microwave to cut it because this guy is hard as a rock. I have not cut an acorn squash in a long time and I don't want to lose my fingers. This is not good. We got her open. That's what it looks like. Kinda looks like a butternut squash inside. I'm gonna scrape these seeds out in the trash.
of it and then I will maybe roast the other half later in the oven. We gotta get this going because I gotta go pick up Layla. So I'm gonna throw this in to our crock pot. And this is a lot, so I think we'll be good. And then let's add in the rest of the ingredients. This is just a sweet onion. So one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna be using liquid coconut aminos. And then this is the Red Boat fish sauce. Okay, I can do this. There we go. Okay, one tablespoon. And then one tablespoon of red curry. And I've tried this one before and I remember it was super spicy so I'm gonna put less than that and then try it and then I can add some in later. Okay, so I'm gonna add, oh yeah, smells spicy. A little less than a tablespoon, so about that much. I'm gonna mix that in there. I'm going to add just a little bit more chicken broth because we don't want it to be too watery because we're gonna be adding a whole can of coconut milk to this afterwards. All right, that should be good to coat everything. And I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna seal that up, go get Layla, and then finish it when it's done. All right, I decided to do a voiceover for the rest of this video since the kids are in the background playing and it can be super distracting. So I'll just talk through everything that I did here. I'm just cutting up the bell peppers to add that in and these will cook up really fast. I'm just adding the chopped up bell peppers to the curry and it smells so good. I'm just mixing everything up and breaking up that chicken so it's a little bit more shredded. And lastly, I am de-stemming the parsley to chop this up and add the lime as well. And I just love fresh parsley. I know sometimes it can be a little extra step to have to do this part, but it's really so worth it. In my opinion, herbs are medicine. Yes. How cute is she? Layla absolutely loves anything that is sour, including all limes and lemons. She just eats them plain, just like that. <laughs> I also cut up the rest of the acorn squash and I roasted it in the oven on 400 for 20 minutes and I flipped it halfway through. And you can eat the skin actually, it's really good for you, it has a bunch of nutrients in there. And yeah, I just added some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a touch of paprika. Came out so good. 
and the baby really, really loved it. I also made her some asparagus with, I added this, one of my favorite seasonings by Frontier, their adobo seasoning. It's so good. And so yeah, I made the asparagus and the acorn squash for Kingsley because she wasn't gonna eat any of the soup because it'd be way too spicy for her. And then I added some extra virgin olive oil to the asparagus and roasted this in the oven on 400 for 12 minutes so that they're nice and soft for the baby. She was trying to grab them here. She's like, mom, give me those. I was like, sorry, baby, they gotta cook first. All right, and now I'm adding the final ingredients to the curry. This is about two cups of frozen organic kale and then a whole can of coconut milk. And then I'm adding in that parsley that we chopped as well as the lime that I'm squeezing in, which is really hard to do with just one hand while you're holding a camera. But y'all, you have to try this soup. It came out so, so good. Oh my gosh, it, I could eat this every day. And it's just so warming and delicious. Everyone loved it, even Nicholas loved it. Um, now, if you don't want it to be as tedious as it was for me by battling an acorn squash, uh, you can use sweet potato instead or, you know, yeah, you can even add frozen sweet potato or a different, you know, butternut squash. They have, you know, bagged organic butternut squash that you could add in and that'd be super easy as well um, to make it a little less time consuming. But yeah, try it. Let me know if you make it and what you think and if you did any adjustments. So let's see how Layla likes it. Do you like it? Is it a little spicy? Yes. Yeah? Okay, what's your favorite part in there? Soup. The soup. <laughs> no, my dad will film you. Okay. Excuse me. Oh. Hi, kids. Oh, it's for kids. Mm. This is really good. I love curry so much. It's a little more liquidy than your traditional curry. Uh, so if you want it less liquidy, use less chicken broth. But this is so, so tasty. And like using chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts makes it so much better. You have to try it. And Kingsley over here has the acorn squash and some asparagus and some pulled pork. Can I have, because the curry was I, too spicy I, for her. Can I have that go ahead? Green beans. You want some asparagus? Yes. Yes. Mm. This looks good. Layla loves filming. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.